Wow, just wow. What an epic intro and what a way to go out with a bang and what a way to start a new Let's Play on Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai Another Road. Now this is kind of funny, I'm actually going to be doing a Let's Play, my very first Let's Play on a sequel to one of the best Dragon Ball Z games on a handheld device. Yeah, that's right folks, Shin Budokai Another Road. This is a good way to keep the hype train going for Dragon Ball Xenoverse because you know Xenoverse is all about making new possibilities and changing the future, making it a different universe indeed. And I think this is what this game kind of did at first. You know, it kind of kicked the doorways open and showed all the different possibilities that you could have a, with a Dragon Ball Z experience. And I think it's a very invigorating, invigorating, invigor, invigorating experience for those who want something new in terms of story for Dragon Ball Z. So we're gonna go ahead and kick things off. I'm going for my name in, random. Randeezy for Sheezy? I'm gonna get that M up in there. All right. So we're gonna start a new profile. Keep game data, yes. I already started out with a one right here, random exclamation mark. Just so I can get a feel for the game, you know, try to get familiar with the controls. So this isn't completely a blind playthrough, it's more of a like familiar playthrough with certain aspects that still haven't been explored yet. So that's exactly what I was going for. I want to make it entertaining for you guys just so you won't have to watch me learn and you know, get my training wheels off. Because I am kind of slow at times. But yeah, look at the menu right here. Not really much to be desired as you can see right there in the background. You see the time machine with the, the Dragon Balls overlapping. And you see all the options we got. We got another road, which is the main story. Arcade mode where you can do online battles. I don't know. I'm not sure if I have online components. And just a heads up, we're gonna be playing on an emulated version, the PSP emulator. Just so I can give you that, that crisp, refreshing feel also with the refreshing new take on the Dragon Ball Z experience. For those who haven't gotten the opportunity to play it, this this is your chance to see what the game has to offer. Got your profile cards, got your training modes. Yeah, with this game right here, it's so much that I love about it because the dialogue is new, some of the different aspects are new, like the characters introductory, the characters that they may have not met in the actual canon universe of Dragon Ball Z. Everything is good. I'm going to keep everything in English. Now, one thing that you guys are going to notice, especially if you're a Dragon Ball Z video game buff and just a Dragon Ball Z buff in general, the soundtrack is going to sound very familiar. This is, I mean, I think this is one of the games that kind of got hindered a lot because a lot of controversy went into the Dimps games. And it all came along with um, Kenji Yamamoto, the, the composer for Dragon Ball Kai and the composer that's been doing Dragon Ball Z games for like a long time with some of the earlier 2D platform games and most, you know, noticeably the Budokai games. Like a lot of those songs that he uh, composed were pretty much compositional infringed songs. You know, they were copyrighted. They were d direct copies of like 80 songs and 90 songs. So this game right here got it bad. Uh, the Budokai 3 games got it bad. But let me go ahead and stop talking about that. We'll talk about that as we get into the game. Let's go ahead and start this off. In another future, Goku suffered and died of a heart condition and Earth's strongest defenders fell at the hands of the androids. It is a world overcome with despair. This world's lone surviving warrior, Trunks, returned to his past where he encountered Goku. In the ensuing battles with the androids and Cell, he grew stronger. And now, with both the past and future restored to their original peace, the great cities have been rebuilt. And a number of years later, the World Martial Arts Tournament is held once again. The World Martial Arts Tournament, huh? I've been waiting a long time for this. I know I'm going to enter, but I don't think I'm going to tell Mom. It's kind of embarrassing when she shows up to cheer me on. And heck, I have to enter. I've been pretty out of shape from all this working. Man, people are going to love this. It's hard to believe the androids were once here. Wow, is it time already? The finals are starting. I better get moving. Oh, Trunks, you never were good at hiding things. He didn't even mention the tournament to me when he left. He probably thinks it'd be embarrassing to have me watching. Yep, that's my son. 
Who wouldn't be embarrassed that that was your mom and she had the big Y incision up in her cleavage, man? That is just crazy. But he sure does work hard at his job and with the rebuilding of the town. I mean, look at the sheen and the, the glitz and gloss on those milk motels, man. I bet his father would say something like, This tournament is just a silly game. <laughs> it's just like back in the day when Goku and Vegeta were fighting. Even though I'm not with the crowd, I can still cheer him on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time. Welcome to the World Martial Arts Tournament! Go for it, Trunks! Mom, what are you doing here? <sighs> she always seems to find out. Well, I guess I better give her a good show. Wow, just wow. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to give you a heads up. Since we are playing on the emulator, everything is going to pretty much be in full 1080p, 60 frames per second. And with emulators, they really don't translate everything as well as it was on this original platform because the PSP, it was only like a, um, a 4x3 aspect ratio. So now that it's stretched to a 16x9, the font and the texting is going to be a little jumbled up. So I'm going to try to read this to my best ability, but please don't come in here and say that I have dyslexia or I just can't read or whatever. I'm trying to read it to the best of my ability. So I'm going to be giving my best impressions of some of these characters, what they have to offer, and I'm going to hold it up for you guys. I'm going to hold it up tight. So here we go. The future was peaceful, but just as in the past, evil appeared once again. The threat to this peace and the ones who would protect it were here. Trunks would find himself at the heart of a new epic battle. Prologue complete. The World Martial Arts Tournament is about to begin. There's a lot of powerful fighters. Who will come out on top? Who will? I was sensing it earlier. But this guy just feels strange. He feels like he lacks character development and he's useless. So, you must be Trunks. Show me what you can do as a Super Saiyan. Why should I show you? I don't even know you, fool. What? What are you talking about? I need to know if you really can help us. I'll tell you the details after you become a Super Saiyan. Okay, if that's what you want. You already seem to know about Super Saiyans. So while usually I'd prefer not to do it here, I'll make an exception. Ah! Aha! There you are. Hmm. What's this? He seems to have an impressive energy. Shall we steal it, Master Bobbity? Yes, I want to resurrect Boo as soon as possible. I'll wait here and you can do the rest, Bora. Awesome. That's so sweet. So we're kind of in the same scenario that Gohan was in when he went like Super Saiyan 1 up in the World Tournament. And all of a sudden, like, um... Spokovich and Yamu came in and extracted all his power to give to Bobbity. We're in the same scenario, except it's not really playing out similar to that, but you're going to see the direction that this game takes, and you're going to really love this game. Okay, let's go ahead and read. Shin and Kabito were surprised and pleased by Trunks' strength. But the... Blah. But the Bora came and began stealing the energy of the tournament fighters. Realizing this, Trunks went to fight the Bora, but... What? Realizing this, Trunks. Okay. No, oh, never mind that the text is all jumbled up. My body won't move. What's wrong with me? You're, you're with them. Calm down, Trunks. We're on your side. You mustn't fight him now. Don't fight him. Let's go, Kabito. Where are you going? Let go of me. Hmm, looks like someone is trying to interfere. The Supreme Kai, he's running away. No fun at all. <laughs> you won't get away. The boar began destroying the city to lure out Trunks. Seeing this, Trunk broke free, only to have his energy drained by the boar. This power is incredible. This boy is pretty good. Are there more like him? I've never heard of any such fighters. Let's have a peek at his memories. Very interesting. Bobbity saw Trunks' memories of the past and a time machine and sensor beams. 
Oh my, it's most interesting. If we can get them to come here, their energy will let us bring back Boo. <laughs> Fascinating. We'll retreat for the moment. Let's go, Devara. Right. Sweet. Sweet. Do you just see how that story is going? Just imagine if we had this game in all animated cutscenes. That would just make it all the more better. What if Dimps actually imp incorporated some of these things that you're seeing now into Xenoverse? What if they did that? It's like they worked on this game. You see what they have to offer to all the naysayers that don't like the game. This is what they have to offer. But um, if you guys are familiar with that OST playing in the background, it was used up in Budokai 3. It's called Embrace the Skies. Now, this was... um. One of the, the copyright infringed songs that nobody really noticed in, until after Kenji Yamamoto composed on Dragon Ball Kai. And it's a song that was done by this group called Journey. And it was called uh, Stand Be Yourself or Stand Proud or something like that. Exact same song almost. Except without the lyrics of the, uh, the actual vocalist. So that's, you know, an interesting fact to notice. You will never ever hear this song up in a future Dragon Ball Z game. But getting back on track. Trunks. You can see it. What? Deborah? Where's Deborah? There. You, you're, you're not getting away. Trunks, please wait. You're, you're not. Yo, the world will, huh, man, that text came in so late. If you're defeated, the world will be in great danger. Who are you anyway? I'm not the one who will let them out. Don't stop me. Fine, but please be careful, Kabito. You see, guys, this is what I'm talking about. That 16 by 9 aspect ratio is not a like it's not really cooperating well with me right now when it comes to the text. Hmm. There, your power is back to normal. It's true. My power is back. Thank you, Kabito, and he is the master of all the Kai, the supreme Kai. Kabito, never mind. Just call me Shin. Thank you, Shin. All right, I'll catch up with him soon. Man, Supreme Kai was the biggest letdown in Dragon Ball Z history. You saw how Piccolo was hyping that dude up. Let me explain about the booster screen and customizable items, okay? Here you can assign your booster to the slots to increase your power. <laughs> One character has nine slots, so you can set nine boosters at a time. At first, many slots are sealed. So you'll have to be careful. You can buy unlock slot in the booster shop to unlock one. Now let's talk about how the boosters there are. Uh, if you smell la 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 la. Man, tongue tied. Now let's talk about how to use boosters. There are three kinds. There are the normal boosters and the power of boosters. And ultimate boosters. A normal booster increases one basic stat like life. They're ranked from 1 to 9, which tells you how big of a bonus they provide. Next power up, these will improve the other boosters they point to. The effect follows the arrow, but only one affects a given booster. Finally, ultimate boosters. These are something totally different. What they do is improve the power of your ultimate moves. Amazing! But unlike a normal booster, let's skip past all this. We already know the rules. Pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to use these specific item cards or that what he refers to as boosters. And as you gradually improve and as you gain more like points or like money, you can buy even more powerful boosters. Now these aren't really specified for like specials and stuff. It only increases like tax, attacks, um, energy blasts and speed and health and whatnot. So these are going to be our first energy boosters that we get. We got one for uh, health. We got one for energy. Now I don't have any money on me right now. So as I progress through the game, I'll get more money and I can buy more boosters. Like these are all the other boosters that you can buy. And this unlocked 5,000 slot right here will have it where I get access to even more boosters. So um, without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get into the game because there's a lot of stuff that they wanted to introduce before you actually get started, which is crazy because we're already like almost 15 minutes in. So let me go ahead and give you guys a glimpse of what the game has to offer. 
There goes the Bora. Damn, this feels like a PC simulator. Damn you, the Bora! I won't let you get away with this! Hey, Trunks! That voice. I know I heard it in the past. Could it be you, King Kai? Yep. I guess I'm famous. <laughs> Anyways, look, you've got a heck of a fight. I'm sorry, King Kai. I don't have time to talk. I have to stop the boar. I'm, I'm, man, he ain't jo joking, man. We gotta go and get started with this. Hold your horses. I know that, but I have some advice for you. Thank you. Good reply. Now he's attacking not just you, but the cities, right? Yeah. He just keeps blowing up cities. Exactly. You are his only target. He needs to destroy the cities. Damn it. And it forces me to worry about protecting the cities. And for you, if the cities are destroyed, you lose even if you even defeat him. If you're faced with an enemy in a city, you should keep your distance. Right. It's hard to protect everyone while fighting, but I have to. Right. Each city has a gauge above it. And when it opens up, <laughs> and when the opponent attacks, the gauge goes down until finally the city is, will be lost. So be careful and make sure you don't let all the cities get destroyed. Right. Oh, one more thing. When you are close to the city, you regain health. Not only that, but the city will start to repair itself when you're there. I see. So if a city is getting too damaged, I should stop by. Exactly. The status of these cities is displayed in the upper left. Okay, I've got it. I get it. Get going. Good. Be careful now. Oh wait, I forgot something important. Oh my God, King God, come on. Your opponent can get health back by destroying the cities, so watch out. Anyway, you better get going. Hurry up and stop them trunks. Okay. Thanks again, King Kai. Here goes nothing. All right. So this is gonna be like a mini map. And you're like, what you're gonna see in the future missions, you're gonna see like a lot of hordes of enemies going and trying to like blow up each city. All right, so there goes the boar from around like a retard. And all you gotta do is just approach him just like that. <laughs> I'll have some fun. Fine, I have some more of your excellent energy. All right. This is how the game plays. It's pretty much the same as uh. Budokai 3 in burst limit, more in the field of burst limit. Oh shit. Just blast me in the face. Get it! So you can! Man, but look how beautiful this game looks though. Yeah. That burning attack to the face. West side. It's over. Man, but this game, look at it though. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? So this is gonna be our card that we pick. This is gonna be like a random booster, and you'll see these every every once in a while that I had to defeat our opponents. Maybe we have the interactive menu. You lose. Demon King the Boar has left the field. Wonder where he went off to with his fake vampire and Brooklyn looking ass. And there's our booster, our power up booster card. Those will come in handy. But what are you guys' thoughts on the game so far? Do you like this game? Because I'm really, really feeling the scenarios. And I love how you get to interact more with the CPU. Future Trunks has received a or reached a new transformation stage. New booster is added in the shop. Alright, here's the next chapter, and here's that copywriting friends music that we love so much. <laughs> how do you like that, Debora? So you finally caught up with me. Come on! What are you doing? Your trunks, aren't you? How about this? What? The Bora heads for a densely populated city and fires a massive energy blast. Trunks is able to stop the blast and protect the city from harm. But with the damage he'd already taken, he lost consciousness. 
Oh my! That was close, Devara. My apologies, Master. Let's we leave before the Supreme Kai comes. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bobby and Deborah got away from Trunks hastily. Oh, hold on, Trunks hastily remembered? Man, these run-on sentences. Their conversation about the time machine and the sensu beams. With this information, they considered what Bobby would do next. Oh, shit. <laughs> we did it! Look, those warriors from the past and their energy is the same! Fascinating. I'm sure he'll enjoy this. <laughs> Let's bring them along and make things interesting. In another future world, something unbelievable has happened. Trunks and the other worse and the others were at the mercy of the evil unleashed by Bobbity. Can Trunks stop Boo's resurrection on his own? So we're gonna have familiar faces and familiar races, yo. I can't believe this! All that work rebuilding the town, and now this! Darn it! What can I do? I can't. I can't do this alone! Man, if you ask me, Trunks should have kept that original hairdo. Panicking won't solve anything. That's right. Not the original hairdo, know. but the hairdo that was long after he came out of the time machine. We can't stop Boo's resurrection on our own. We need your power. We need your power! The people of Earth are depending on you. And that's true. But to stop them, we have to beat Bobbity and Deborah. We have no sensor beads. And I can't do this by myself. And wait. I've got it. I'm not alone. I have a time machine. If we go back in time, we can ask my dad and Goku for help. Time machine? Yeah. A while back, I used a time machine to travel to the past and fought alongside the most powerful warriors. Since then, we've continued developing the time machine, and we've made one that can carry multiple people. A time machine? This is incredible. Sorry about that. If there are others who can fight like you, we might just be able to stop Bobbity. Where is this time machine now? The Western Capital. I think my mother already went back there. Oh gosh, I hope she's okay. Your mother should be fine. But what about you? How do you know about my mama? You been creeping? I'm fine. But the fact that we have no sensor beans worries me. No sensor beans? Yes. They were ruined a long time ago. It'll be fine, Trunks. Sensor beans take a long time to grow, but they couldn't have disappeared completely. By now, there should be new ones growing already. Really? Well, that's great. But I'm still worried about my mom. Trunks, standing around tormenting yourself won't help the matter. While we're talking, Bobbity could be on the move. You're right. Let's get going. Man, so this is so awesome. Like, they're actually in Trunks' timeline and they've held a World Martial Arts Tournament. So he's pretty much the only guy that can pretty much kick major ass, but has to, like, just contain his power completely. And it's kind of weird how the Supreme Kai and Kabito ended up in the future and meeting him. So is that like another time rift? Did they actually meet him? Just like they met Goku and other friends up in that, their timeline? Because if so, wouldn't that call, cause a rift? We're going to find out. Maybe this is what Trunks is up to all that time. You know, like before he became Time Patrol Trunks, he had all these things he had to tackle. He had all these jobs and stuff he had to do. And what's also interesting is the Sensu, Sensu Beans. they pretty much been destroyed up in his time. Maybe Korin's Tower got destroyed. Trunks went to Korin's Tower to stop Bobby from getting the Sensu Beans. But when he arrived, Deborah was already destroying the tower. Stop it, Deborah! Trunks, look! Ugh, what happened? No, it's Korin, alright! Good, good, destroy! Check out the we deal with the Bora. We have to do something right now. Right. Alright, so we're gonna have to chase the Bora yet again. Beat that menu up. Let's see how much. No, let's go ahead and start. We'll worry about that later. We're almost done with this playthrough. I'm gonna try to cut this in half, like. Oh shit, it's the the infamous green bomber cell himself. Look at that bad pixelated Minecraft graphics, the Bora. <laughs> so you decided to finally join us. Deborah, I won't let you destroy anymore. 
Oh really, you think you can defeat me, the king of the demon world? Hell yes! Told you, man, you ain't with a fake vampire in Brooklyn. Oh shit, Frieza. Show me what you've got. We gotta fight Frieza with his popcorn bowl shoulder pads and his Jolly Rancher scout. Don't underestimate me! Yeah, can I restorate you, man? Anybody that can point their finger at you with their nail polish is a straight up G. She ain't got nothing on this, bro. Uh, uh, uh. I know you're familiar with that, boy. Should be running for your life right now. This ain't our first square dance, bitch. Don't you just love those rush attacks, though? It's over. Just imagine if Dimps were able to incorporate everything that they did from their future games, like from their future, from back to their uh their previous games. That Russia sack though. Right, that'll be like a good thing to implement. I got my health on deck. This game is a game of survivor too. It's like you have to make sure that you beat these guys in a timely manner and you gotta make sure that you don't take that much damage from them. Give it up. Frieza has left the field. Alright, where's Cell? I gotta defeat Cell in 30 seconds. Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yes! This is my favorite character. This is getting interesting. Very interesting indeed. Like, Cell, he's just a boss, though, man. Like, out of all the different fates of the world, when everything was at stake, Cell was the only person that I felt like was like really uh, posed a big threat to the Z Warriors. It's like he's such a boss and he just demands the stage. I think what also made Cell interesting was that he had the traits of like the different warriors, like the Saiyans. You know, he had that that pride. You know, and that's what kind of led to his downfall, you know, since he had all those different traits, like the Saiyan traits, Saiyans are very strong with their pride, and I think that's what really hurt him in the end. But man, just look at the, the graphics, though. Like, this game holds up. Seriously, though. But uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I want you guys to do me a favor and leave a like or a dislike and also leave a comment in this comment section no. below. No! I'm a little tired. Cell is left the building. What? What did I fail on? Alright, but um, this is gonna be the final battle. I'm going to fight him. Just go and get a bang for your buck since we just got introduced to the game. Oh snap. My fault. Damn you! I will avenge my father! Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I need to stop doing that. I did it. He's like, my bad, bro. Let me go and pound my chest. Yeah, you guys. But if you guys are interested in this playthrough, let's go ahead and hit the like goal of 200 likes. At least 200 likes, guys. If you're interested in this game, and if you're interested on things that I have to say about the series or some of these what if scenarios. Let's go ahead and make it fun. Let's go ahead and make it entertaining. You know, give me a good idea on how you're receiving these videos. But anyways, this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, hitting you guys up with another Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.